Hi again, Yarn the Bees. Uh, once again, Crochet Bee standing in for uh, Sandy Claus, who is still still not feeling up to snuff here. Hopefully we'll get her back soon. So, all right, we're going to just get right to it here. Sandy wants me not to talk quite so much and just get on a bit with, uh, with getting the videos done because we're trying to keep these short little snippets so that you're not spending hours watching. So, um... This is our 25 days that we're doing with Angela from the Precious Yarnery, my Precious Yarnery. Uh, 25 days of Christmas is terrific gift exchange. So uh, you can follow her on her channel, my Precious Yarnery, and see the gifts that Sandy has given her. And we're going to do the gifts that Angela has given us. And so far, she's given us some great stuff, including my, my new favorite coffee cup, which I've been using ever since I got it. The nice thing about this is it's made of stainless steel, so it keeps your coffee really nice and warm. Okay, so once again, the Weight Watchers Advent Calendar full of chocolate bars. Um, so we have to look for number five, which is right here, which we will open. And it is not a Kit Kat bar. It is. Oh, I can't even. My fingers are way too big to dig into these small holes. It is a tiny ball of chocolate. It's always nice to get chocolate balls at Christmas. All right, so I will put that off to the side. And um, I have been forced to be eating all of these for Sandy as well. So it, it's a sacrifice that I'm willing to make. And then once again, we have Bailey's Advent Calendar. And she's literally right here in anticipation and we're up to five is up here and what did we get today oh her little biscuity wafer thing she likes these actually she's really liked everything in here so far so whoever did the treats they're definitely giving her something that she likes so once again i'll try to open it which i have and they're right here, and here she comes. Come on. Come get it. Come get it. Okay. Well, she is right right here. Enjoying enjoying her treats. So I'll put the other two over there. And this has been the best thing that's ever happened to her. She's loving this. So and then we're gonna get on to the gift for today. So Angela really really took a lot of care into Wrapping these all so nice, and then we're just going to rip them apart, of course. So, this little guy here, it's, to me, feeling very yarn-like. Sandy's favorite gift. But, we'll see. There's no more. This is not for you. Bailey is sniffing the gift, thinking there's just more goodies, but not so. Oh! It's another one of these wonderful little shrink wrapped, bubble wrapped. I have no idea what this is. We can't even see through it. So, opening it very carefully, as you can see. Wow. Oh, look at this. For the yarn to bees, it's a little tiny bottle of honey. Uh, it's obviously a Christmas ornament again. Isn't that cute? So, there's no actual honey in it, but I guess you could put honey in it. Oh, she wants me to turn it around this way. Oh, it's got the little honey comb, I guess, with it as well. So, isn't that cute, Angela? That's so cute. Oops, and down she goes. Okay, so we're going to find a spot on the tree for the honey. <coughs> so it's a little thing of honey for my honey. Isn't that nice, eh? So we're going to put that up there. And away we go. Isn't that cute? Yeah, Sandy. Sandy is smiling from ear to ear. She's just thinking this is just really sweet. Okay, 
So, um, we'll go to today's, the answer to yesterday's trivia question. Um, so, I think probably everybody's going to end up getting this, but the, the, uh, the question was, which real life person is Santa Claus based on? And the answer is, it's the Christian Bishop, St. Nicholas. So most of us know that St. Nicholas was the real um, inspiration for Santa Claus. Um, there are different, um, um, they call him Sinterklaas in some of the countries, but basically he was a Christian bishop that was uh, known to be kind and generous to everyone, especially children. So this was who Santa Claus apparently was originally based on. So, okay, so there we go. So here is one. This is going to be a good one. So um, I know a lot of you guys are cheating and using Google, so you might get this one. But this is something that, uh, oh, we will put the winner's name down below. And, of course, you'll be entered into the grand prize draw, which I still don't know what it is, but I'm sure it's huge. Um, and then this one is a good one. So the question is, what do Swedish children leave out for Santa Claus. So like here we tend to leave uh, cookies and milk and uh, carrots for the reindeer or whatever but this is the tradition in Sweden what they leave out for Santa Claus. So please uh, leave your answer in the comments and we'll uh, pick out a winner and announce that on our next video. So okay so that's pretty much it for today just a couple of quick videos that we wanted to get out hoping that Sandy will be able to take over soon. So if not, you'll be stuck with me. If, you know, we're going to fulfill fulfill our commitment of, of getting these videos out and unwrapping and showing everybody what wonderful things Angela, who's really sweet, has got us. So please, pardon me? Okay, Sandy's trying to say something to me. but I, you know, We want to thank everybody for your support, uh, obviously for subscribing. You know, Sandy's feeling really bad that she's not able to do this herself. Um, you know, she had planned planned it, planned this all out and did all the shopping, got all the gifts for Angela and, and everything. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. You know, nobody likes to be sick. This is now the seventh day since she first started showing the symptoms was last Sunday at the craft fair. And, um, you know, she's having a rough time. So we've been told it's a one to two week thing sandy is always worst case scenario so it'll probably be a two-week thing i don't know but uh she's not as bad as she was but she's still not able to talk very well and cough 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 the most worst thing is just a persistent cough she can't find a, a way to sleep in any lying in any position that doesn't cause her to continue to cough and she's not getting a lot of rest so Anyway, that's it for today. I'm sorry I had to wake her up to do th these videos, but I told her I would do them today. Uh, I will be working tomorrow, but if I have to do more, I'll find time to do them because it's she's my girl. All right, so thanks again, guys. We'll see you on the next one, and Merry Christmas.